get in, I mean, like, what was, what did you do to get your first job in comics? It's funny. There was a company called Magazine Management, and I had a second cousin or someone who worked there, and one day he said to me, I was about 17, and I was looking for a job. I had been an usher in the theater in Times Square, and I left that job. And I had been a delivery boy somewhere and left that job. And this guy said, hey, they're looking for a guy to help in their editorial department. And I was always pretty good at writing. I did well in composition in school. So I thought I would try it. I had no idea that it was a comic book department because this company also published sports magazines, romance magazines, men's, all kinds of magazines. And then I find out they have a comic book department and that's where they wanted an assistant. And the whole department was just run by two guys, Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. So they hired me. And my job was to fill the ink wells. In those days they used ink. And to go down and get him a sandwich at lunch hour, to clean up the pages with an eraser, and to proofread if I found any mistakes, to let him know in the lettering. And little by little, I guess I did a good job proofreading. I told him, you know, that sentence doesn't read well. It ought to be written like this. They gave me a couple of stories to write, and I got more and more stories, and then, for some reason, Simon and Kirby were fired. Now, I was the only guy left in the department. So the publisher, and I was about 17 and a half, the publisher said, hey kid, usually he forgot my name, he said, do you think you could run things until I hire a grown-up? <laughs> well, when you're 17 and a half, what do you know? I said, sure, I can run things. And I think he forgot all about me, because I stayed there ever since. <laughs> I, I became the head writer, which wasn't hard, because there were no other writers. <laughs> then I became the editor, and the art director, and it became a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing it. And the publisher was so busy worrying about his other magazines, that he probably wasn't paying any attention. So I just stayed there. Yeah, that deserves a round of applause.